hi my loves so i was just getting ready for work and this arrived my fairy loot box for me i believe um so i'm gonna do an unboxing and i have wet hair i am nowhere near ready but i cannot wait to dive into this box so i'm gonna do it now before i do my adult responsibilities i am so scared of falling down i just won't climb in the first place oh. so i come prepared this time have scissors so oh i'm a bit more prepared than normal still clumsy as fuck though okay so i'm just gonna Ooh. there's always this stuff and i always always manage to make a mess with it so i'm gonna be picking that up for probably a couple of days and my Hoover doesn't like it, so I guess it's just gonna have to be hand picked. Oh, there's something big in here. Comes in this wrapping. Let's see. Oh, it's Sarah J. Mask, guys. I just literally seen like I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it says Sarah J. Mask. Oh my god. I love it! From now until the darkness claims us. <gasps> Guys, you can't even like properly see it because of... Hi. From now until the darkness claims us by Sarah J Maas. I adore this. I am going to use this. This is going to come with me to work. I'm going to put some coffee in this. And I'm gonna live my best life. Anything, anything Sarah J Mass, and it's a win from me. So, yeah, love it. And then, oh, Serpent and Dove. Oh, like two, two things so far. And one of my favourite authors from one of my favourite series. And I recently read Serpent and Dove for, um, a readathon and I read it in a day and I love it. Oh, these are beautiful. Let's see, let's take them out of the packet. Oh my god, these are so stunning. Oh my god, these are so stunning. Yep. I love the artwork on here. The artwork is really like spot on. So I take it that this is Lou and this is Reed. I am not sure who this is and I think this is Coco. So yes, love them. Two things so far and it's from series that I have, one I have started and one I have completed. So like that's a win for me. <laughs> and oh, we have something in an envelope here oh this says wooden wooden phone stand interesting oh what does this say behold what has oh i can't read that behold what has arrived i believe this is from um raybader i believe um i have not read that yet i do own free reader i just have not read it yet so i'm going to see if okay so i am not sure how this works i take it that this bit goes in here and then you can pop your phone on it i think i mean I don't know. <laughs> maybe, okay, Shannon, maybe it goes the other way. I am just making myself look stupid on camera, to be honest. But, like, yeah, that looks more like it. And I take it you could pop your phone on here. 
that's pretty cute i mean i have a pop socket so i don't know if this would be practical for me but i would definitely keep this and use it as artwork but um yeah that's cute i've not seen that before and then we have roll the dice reading list game Ooh, so this looks cool Ooh. okay so i take it that you would assign books to each number and then you get a die that's 20 sided and you roll this is kind of cool actually um yeah so you get oh that's a nice die i don't know i like this um so i take it you write 20 books down you roll the die whatever number comes up is the book you read i like this i feel like this would be really good if you're struggling to read something um or if like you don't have a tbr game like this would be a really good way to play a game without committing to making or like playing a game all month every well every month sorry this would be a good way to just like introduce a bit of fun into your tbrs or if you're having a hard time picking something to um pick your next read i kind of like that actually it's so simple but yeah that's cool and then oh we have the straw to go with the um thing i am so gonna have a nice coffee with this because i don't need an excuse to have a coffee but that just gave me one. Oh, and one of my favorite parts of fairy loot is these oh is these um tarot cards so i got 10 of wands and no nine of wands and 10 of wands and the artwork on here is absolutely gorgeous um i don't know what fandom this is from so i'm going to look at the spoiler card Ooh, we have more art oh that's cool more artwork um so the spoiler card is obviously a spoiler card for the book i knew straight away what book it was when i seen this artwork um so we have the tumblr which is sarah j mass and it is inspired by throne of glass we have the wooden phone stand and it is um oh to help if I had it the right way right and this is um from the book Ray Bader and I will leave all of the artists on screen in case you're interested to see more of their artwork because the artwork in these boxes are just beautiful and I really take my hat off to all the artists that I see in these bo uh, boxes because they're just really on point with with their artwork and I love it so I really hope if you find some artwork you like you go and follow and support the author author well do that too but like <laughs> go and support the artist support the author i always do i always go on after i open one of these boxes and follow all of the artists because you can never have enough art in your life especially bookish art because it's really hard to come across sometimes and then we have the foil coasters which are from serpent and dove which i already knew <laughs> um the tbr game which isn't inspired by any fandom it is just a fairy loot added surprise the art print oh okay the art print is from the craze series by tracy wolf i have not read this series I have had my eye on it, but they're chonkers. But I might just, after looking at this artwork, I might just have to go buy myself this book because it looks, it looks good. It looks good. 
and then oh okay okay the tarot cards are from serpent and dove it does not say who the characters are i kind of can guess that this is coco maybe um but i am totally blanking same with the coasters i am blanking on the other male character's name at the moment and it's really annoying me and yeah i'm happy that these are serpent and dove like um because i already have um i already have two of the tarot cards from fairy loot and one of them uh, is um lou and the other one is reed so now i have coco and this guy <laughs> um i have only read the first in the book i've only read serpent and dove so i need to read blood and honey um maybe this character comes in to it when um i read the sequel but i loved the first one so i am very excited to have more artwork and more things to do with the series because i have a feeling i'm just gonna love the series i read serpent and dove loved the characters loved the world and i can't wait to return in serpent and no blood and honey blood and honey and then gods and monsters oh my god okay all all i seen was this Mm. I'm so excited for this book because I know that it's Witches Steeped in Gold and the cover of that book is absolutely gorgeous anyway. So the Fairy Loot Edition, I have high hopes. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Do you know what? I actually like it. Okay. I actually really, really like it, but, oh my god, okay. Not only does it have the print on the outside, it also has the print on the dust jacket. And does this not just make you think of, like, old classics? Because it, it makes me think of old classics. And the spine, oh, I absolutely adore this spine. And then the edges are absolutely gorgeous. I will admit, not what I expected. Not what I expected. I did kind of expect an illustration on the front. But then again, the, the original has this illustration, which is absolutely beautiful. So I guess like having it so different is kind of a surprise, but I'm not mad at it. I do think my favourite thing is the spine though. Um, and then the artwork on the inside is absolutely beautiful. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Okay, who is the artist of this? I need them in my life. Um, the artist is Othnissify Art. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, like, I will be following them because this is amazing. I very rarely use the reverse side of the jacket because, I don't know, like, sometimes I just prefer, like, I like the look of the spines with the name on it on my shelf. So I very rarely use the reverse side of the jacket artwork, but I might just have to make an exception. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted to have it like this because like, wow. And wow, I love this artwork, man. And it's so nice with the edges. I don't know. I don't know. If I should have it like this or if I should have it naked with just the spine or if I should have it with this side of the duster. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Comment down below what you think I should do. Should I have it 
with the reverse side and the art or should I have it with the new dust jacket or should I have it naked? Comment down below and let me know what you would do and I will decide. I don't know. So yeah, that is all I have for you today. I had to open this as soon as possible because I can't wait. I'm like oh I'm so bad for waiting for things and I know that sounds bad but like when it's a gift to yourself which fairy loot technically is it's a gift from me to me I just don't want to wait to open it I just want to get it in my hands and open it as soon as possible so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you found something interesting found an artist you liked um, if you're interested in which is steeped in gold, then I hope you pick it up. If you do pick it up, let me know what you think in the comments below and have a nice day. Stay safe, happy and healthy and I will see you next time. Bye. Pack up my summer in a ziplock bag. Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs at this and that I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember